Hey Blades, this is Fang here again, and welcome to Days Gone. Hey Blades, this is Fang here again. And this is uh, the third episode of uh, Horror Wednesday. Been pretty busy today with some Days Gone. Fortunately, no uh, fade into silence today, just because I don't have access to the game. But we're back with probably the last episode for today. So, welcome back to whoever's been watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. So, last we did, we took care of some animal hunting. Uh... Basically, the hunting tutorial, which I feel is kind of late in the game, but and we did some more of uh, I remember quests. So now we got to go check up on Lisa, which is also another person we saved in the last episode. Now that I remember, to trust too. So that way we can possibly upgrade our bike enough to make the jump to get the Nero Research site down here. So let's go ahead and get into it. Wrong way. And for those just tuning in too, uh... I have to say, I, I've definitely enjoyed this game a lot more than I thought I would have. So. Been asked that quite a lot lately on what my opinion is on this game. And really, it's just a good game. Uh, I don't really have too much beefs with it, because obviously all the bugs little tiny glitches are going to be fixed. And I really haven't run into a lot of them. Uh, some of them are kind of funny, where like where you go to stab one of the freakers in the head and you wind up like punching through their head with your whole entire hand. I've had that happen a few times, but I can't say that's an actual complaint. I mean, there's definitely a fog of war with this game, with distance, uh, but it's not bad. And the enemy AI seems pretty good. I wouldn't say great. Um, I'm not talking about the Freakers, really. Freakers actually do really good. I haven't seen much issue with them. In fact, that's where probably the hardest parts of the combat come into play. For me. Never used any of these yet, have I? Uh, it's usually the gunmen. Sometimes they're kind of dumb. Uh, like the actual human AI. They're easy to sneak up on or overwhelm. Not all the time, though. They have given me grief. I will say that, but... Yeah, I really don't have much, too many complaints to this game. Besides that, uh, there is quite a bit of back and forth. I think that, that might be my only legit concern with the game. Is, uh, you do go back and forth quite a lot. Oh, 
Other than that, loving this game, definitely. Obviously, I'm already six videos in, three videos in one day. Not bad. Of course, those watching on YouTube, you might get the videos a little bit spaced from each other, so. Depending on when you're watching it, of course. Alright, we're finally here at the headquarters. Ian. Uh, I know him. Deacon, mm -hmm. keeping an eye on that gas tank. The one with the custom paint job you've been asking about. Oh, hey, Manny. Yes. Yep, always needing fuel. Drifter life. Yeah, Thanks, <laughs> man. Drifter hey. life. Just looking. Hey, how's it going? Jazzy. Cool. Looks like you've been busy. Oh, okay. See ya, man. Damn, we're so freaking close. Ah, oh, that makes me mad. Hope says you've been helping out around the camp. You won't say it, but uh, you hold on, I'll get the What's up, Manny? I don't know what I want to do. Because I could just go do the mission. Kinda hoping to uh, be able to get the new bike parts, but... Might see what I can do around here. Because it's not a lot of points. Maybe if I can retrieve enough goods. <laughs> there we go, two wolves. That should get me up there. One freaker and some more plants. That should set me up. Too bad I don't have that skill that gives me double meat. Gate already. Oh, hey, open up. 
I've seen him before. Hey, been seeing you around more. What's up, Manny? Hope you got some bounties for me. Yes. You do the killing. I'll do the counting. Okay, uh, see you later. Are oh, you kidding me? <laughs> Barely a few points off. Well, hopefully those should give me enough. Gate, someone's here. Yeah, one thing I say uh, I haven't really done is I really haven't scaled. You got something to say about what it. skills prioritize, or geez, butchered that word. Which ones I should do? the most. Yay! Trust two. Good to see you, Deke. Hey, Damon. How's life? Yeah, got some good stuff in stock. All right. Using storage. Saddlebags can store extra ammo for you to use while out in the field. You can pay to fill up your saddlebags at any encampment merchant. Pay attention to how much ammo your saddlebags can hold as storage space varies by type. To grab the ammo from the saddlebag. Yeah, it's I'll wrap that up for you. Good choice, man. Good choice. those tires there's alternative looking tires though uh, visual this should last you for a while I definitely have some stuff to buy. Should have more stuff later. See you around, Dick. Got one more episodes to record. Uh, probably not. I hate to say it, cause this will probably be my last stream of the day. Because I have construction to do tomorrow. So I'm going to be aiming to go to bed pretty early. So I might just tink around on the switch. After dinner. And all that stuff. Wait, what? 
They're just a free wolf carcass right here. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh yeah, definitely having fun. Are you just playing Sekiro? I think he left my chat. Oh, well. Uh... Oh, no, there it is. St. John, this is Copeland. Manny says he's got a part for your bike. Oh, nice. Not sure I have enough camp credits. When you do, swing by. He'll fix you up. Copeland out. Yeah, I don't have the credits though, dude. Just spend them. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break, so that you could buy once, buy again. <laughs> Bye, bye, bye. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that. All to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, it'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither will we. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. Eh, nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. I mean, I could use a new bike right about now. Oh, squatters. God damn it. They were waiting for me. Waters? Where? I don't know where these squatters are, but... Go ahead and move on. I was just grabbing the, some of those plants. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh well. Drifters, you guys murdered! Crap, someone's trapped, I gotta help. Get, get him! Get him! Oh, 
Trust increase for a Copeland. You're gonna be okay. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Camp? Where? Where? S show me. I I'll go. Uh, I want the credits go this time. Go toward Three Fingered Jack. Find the Salome Hot Springs. Talk to Alki Turner. He'll help you out. I, 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 was, I was done for. Oh shit! You know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Yeah, let him know it was Deacon St. John. Okay, These keep running. Stay all out of sight. Generic looking, I've noticed. I think it's been the same guy I've saved over and over and over again. Where is this, anyway? Sniper ambush. Oh, God damn it. I'm sorry. God damn it. Sniper ambush. Where? Well, the question mark looked like it was on the other side, but there's nothing there. Well, whatever. Gate. Someone's here. It's all right. Open it up.
here for your bike? Uh, just having a look. We're gonna run out of this someday, you know. Okay, then. <sighs> See you later. Hey, how's it going? How's it going out there? What's going on, huh? Yeah, I got a drink or two. See you again. That's all I got for now. Hey, what do you need? Hey, how's it going? Can I help you? safe here. I have to work. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they won't let me leave. Why? You're safe now. Alright, now what? What? It's completely blank. Hmm. for your bike? Hey, what's up?
Aha, uh -huh. ambush camp. Ripper camp. Goddamn rippers. one of these murdering sons and bitches. You shouldn't have. No, he's taking the rest of our drugs and headed north. My boys lost him somewhere around Marion Forks. All right, I'll see if I can track it down. I'm busy taking care of this place first. You ambushed down there, huh? Yeah, it's definitely be harder if uh, the enemy recognize uh, their dead comrades. It's what they have noticed. Human AI, they don't notice their allies. The last, the last are coming. You. <laughs> Right now, I could probably sneak through this whole entire area and kill everybody pretty individually, and they would never know. Check it out. Oh, 
You, know, you can't hide, you son of a bitch! Uh, and pop your head again. You're lost! I know it! I can help you! I can show you the path! One more to go. Being ambushed, you like that? Like to talk to having an underground bunker? Yeah? Bunker, yes. Here it is. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Many of you probably don't remember the Cold War. But living through it was a special kind of hell. Every time you heard a plane flying overhead, you think for sure that this is it. That's the one coming to drop the big one on us. And we live through the Red Scare. A man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and blue, or a communist red to the bone. Made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him, taught me the only way to be safe in dark times was to go underground. He built my first bunker with him. But we couldn't build it out in the backyard, with a neighbor spying. Had to go out into the woods, a ways from the road, where no one would happen upon it. With a bunker, you knew that if the country went to hell in a handbasket, you could open that manhole cover, climb down the ladder, and you'd be safe. With your radio, and your hoard of food and ammo. Things haven't changed. Better to dig a bunker, in an early grave. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. <laughs> yeah, Cope? How'd that work out for the poor bastards who own... Smoke bomb. The one that I just cleared out. Huh? Not so good, I'm guessing. Since they were all dead long before I ever got there.
I notice this map is kind of small. I wonder if it's the only map. I would hope not. There's definitely areas, though, I haven't checked. So that's technically the end of the map. Can't go any further that way. Nothing there. I guess my bounty is over there. Oh, there's a Nero research site. No joke. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm at the point of the game where I have to pretty much drive around and uncover the map. Find things, basically. Which I don't mind. Because there's not a lot else to do. Except for getting that historical set. Pioneer Mailman. Yeah, because I could see where you basically follow the roads. I don't think I've been there, though. This looks like it might be in our cave. Uh, oh well, I'll check it out though.
Definitely killed a bunch. Alright, let's look at this a little bit more closely. So... to jump up there, huh? There might be a longer route. Let's go look at this. So it's either something I need nitro for. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty far jump. I think I need nitro for that one. So we'll go ahead and take it off our map and head towards the bounty. Yeah, ironically, we've actually done pretty good on this side of the map. I'm not covering everything. I need to go back to the middle and the forested area. And really look through that.
is it. Of course I need my bike. One time I'm like, oh, I believe my bike's somewhere safe for me to get to. Nope. Still need it. Jesus, a nitpicky. Now your car needs fuel. Now I have to hunt for fuel. Quick save. Okay, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Still got the Packer! I spotted him and it looks I... like he was uh like he was waiting for someone. Dick, don't let him get away. I want him alive. Uh, what the shit, Tucker alive? More shit has come up missing. I need him to tell us where he's Gun accuracy. While on the bike, gun accuracy is determined by distance to your target. Okay, shit. All right, I'll see what I can do. But come on, Rhodes, where do you think you're going, huh? Still back here, you son of a bitch! Why? All right, let's do this the hard way. Rhodes, slow down. I just want to talk. Rhodes, you say you something? Where you going? Talk. How's it going, buddy? See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Ah. Oh, Deke, no. No, oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Oh. Oh. Nah, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? No, no. Deke, no. No, no, no. 
clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You, you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke, uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm going to leave that up to Alki. Yay, I'm two. Ooh, I might have new guns to go look at. Hey, Tuck, I got Deke, him. Uh, Mark down these don't coordinates leave me here. and have Al Kai I heard what you that. did to Leon, okay, Deke? I, I, please, man. Come on, please. He's alive? Did he have my drugs? Deke, no. Uh, please, please. We rode together, remember? You and me, yeah, we were friends. Alive, but if you want him to stay that way, Al Kai, you better hurry up and get off his ass. St. John out. Please, please. Uh, I don't want to die. Uh, don't leave me out here. Come on, untie me. Oh, damn you! So am I back to exploring? Sure looks that way. So those are two Nero sites that we can't do. Looks like this road leads somewhere. Check that. Yeah, we'll check that. There's a lot of the forested area I actually neglected. But we'll try checking this out first. God damn you! Hey, booze man, you there? Yeah, the crazy question. Any idea where I could find a thunder egg? What the hell for? The kid I brought in, just trying to find a way to cheer her up. She mentioned having one. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop at Belknap Crater. I don't know. Maybe Miriam Forks. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Aw, oh, I have to go find an egg. Hey, which is an area we haven't been into. I'm down with that. Deacon St. John, this is Ada Tucker. Alki wanted me to tell you that the camp is thankful for all the runs you've been doing. We need all the help we can get. Take that. Ironically, I think it was a new plant, too. Oh, I, I discovered an infection zone. For some reason, my game's still reading this area is infected. Even though it isn't. It's kind of weird.
Sorry, trying to map out the map. At this point. They're really on top of this thing. There we go. I hate how the map zooms out. And zooms in. Depending on if you're on foot or bike. <laughs> How long you been up here? Here, huh? Setting up ambushes, hitting supply runs. and thieves and I can't let any of them escape. you a couple of items if you want to swing by. Loser, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by later. Open fire! A bunch of murdering son of bitches. I'm not a set of bitches. Oh. Yeah. know what to do. <laughs> there were so many of them out of nowhere. I was like, oh shit. I'm on the wrong end of this one. Bunch of 
murdering assholes can't let any of them get out of here alive.
there's only one more left. <laughs> Nothing like scrap. This turned out to be a really good farm. Because of how many Deke, you there? I got bored. Figured I'd see if I remembered how to make anything. Stop by when you can, I think you'll like it. Booze man? Thank you, brother. Uh, I'll be by. Oh, there's a lot dead down there. Oh, that could be destroyed, huh? I don't even know where this last dude is. Bunker, huh? I know you got one.
This is definitely one of the more nicer ones compared to what we've seen. Hey, this is handy. A map. All marked up. Yeah, and I... <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. Baseball bat axe. Guess they won't be needing it <laughs> anymore. Nice. Oh, apparently cans are pickable now. Well, that was a cool area. Ambush camp. And look at all those historical markers. Jeez. So yeah, it looks like this game just gives you the historical markers. Which is not bad. Which means everything else is collectible. I think... Uh, man, if I have, I guess I could shoot the bodies down, but those would give me ears if I really wanted them. Almost out. What run, bud? That works too.
murderers and thieves. Someone's trapped. I gotta help them. Come on, we got this. <laughs> yeah, keep on running around. The hell's he doing? Kill him. I got this. Hang on. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp. Camp? Where? Where, where is it? Show me. I'll go. I'll go. It's a different textured dude. Uh. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Oh. I was done for. Holy shit, you know? Thank you so much, old man. Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know who Stay off the main roads. Don't stop. This is a definite nest. What? <laughs> Why did I knock that over? Is that a thing? actually empty in here. That's surprising. But damn, you can tell this is a nest. Pretty gnarly one, too. Speaking of nest, they're coming back home. I would turn around so fast in my life. Oh, that's pretty. I wonder if that's real. I wonder if, like, they actually made these images based on actual, like, landmarks. Wait, is there really trees over here that I can use? Yes, there is. I need bolts. There we go. Cool. Oh, not the last one. There's another one right there. So this is the last two. They are the last historical marks in this region. Nice. And we found all the herbology 
didn't even notice that. Did all the ambush camps, all infestations near our checkpoints. Uh, Nero Intel, which can't fully do yet. Historical marker is almost done. Character collectible, I don't know what that is. Maybe, actually, I, that's probably what that is. Um, tourism collectible, I don't know what that is either. This video kind of became, uh, this one has been like map exploration and collectibles and all that. Definitely gonna do the gift shop, but park it right there. surprised there's none in here. Huh. That's interesting. Lava River Caves. Like you think that would be a nest. Or at least that's what I would think. survival tips it keeps giving me. <laughs> I don't mind them, but they're uh, they're definitely random. And out of like nowhere, most of them. This looks like a ripper camp. It has no rippers in it. Must be later on in the story, I guess. Looks like this place looks like it should be like filled with rippers. something out of this.
not in the mood to chase them, let alone hunt them down. All right. Uh, yeah. Back to that kid, I guess. And we'll grab that on the way. here not too long ago too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never knew that. Robbers pass. Cool, that is all the historical markers. There's also horde marks, but I guess we have to be further in the game for that further in the story, I mean. Not too sure. All I know is we definitely hang out at... Marauders taking out freaks, yeah? Go at it, fellas. Actually, never fired it, so I was like, uh, "Would it be nice?" This guy apparently stood no chance. We're getting closer to the end of the video. I might as well talk about what's going to happen uh, with Fate to Silence. So, I wasn't able to cover any of it because I haven't been able to get my hands on the game yet uh, due to shipment issues, basically. Uh, so, that game I'm going to probably stream tomorrow once I'm done with uh, my duties tomorrow, basically. Uh, so I won't be streaming any more Days Gone, since I've done actually three videos today, so probably won't see Days Gone until next Wednesday, just so everybody's aware. Uh, there might be a chance that I might just get the itch and want to play this some more, so I, I am enjoying this game full-heartedly. Like, this game's definitely really, really good. In fun wise, at least. Um, 
So yeah, let's have to keep tuned in for that, but other than that, it will be Wednesday. Uh, Someone's at the gate. I'll probably be focusing on finishing my RPGs, it's just deep. because I've Let had them in. on my list for a while now. Busy, I'm at the point where I'd rather complete those. So don't be surprised if I don't get to this Deacon St. John right. by uh, the camper's life mercy. by Wednesday. Whatever. But tomorrow I'll definitely be doing a stream on right. Fade into Silence. So those that like survival horror games, it that's like another rocks. one. That actually it looks pretty awesome. That's all I got. So just keep your eye out for that. I figured I'd bring that up just a bit because that is uh, up and coming for me. And we're reaching the end of this video, sad to say. I feel like there's, there's like a bunch of collectibles in these areas. Definitely for how big this area is. Lisa, I... Go away. I brought you something. It's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. I can't, because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. I brought you something. <laughs> You're safe now. Jeez, we're only 40% of that. How to gather gather lavender, really? That's my next mission. Interesting. Uh, but I might be able to actually do it before the end of the stream, so let's get on our bike. Wait, guns. Guns, guns, guns. I wanted to check this out first. <laughs> Hey, Deacon. Okay, what just stopping by. Oh, yeah. Definitely a shit ton of guns. Uh, so, we got that. That right there, good we'll piece. Buy it. Stinger should keep you pretty safe out buy there. It. That's a good one. Yeah, well, I'll buy them all. Good shot. You'll like this one. So that way I have each and every weapon type. So three will be the light machine gun. I can't wait. That's gonna be so much fun. I wonder if that will replace the pistol. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, primary. I don't want the shotgun, though. I want... So, the MWS is better in damage and accuracy where this just rate of fire. Let's go ahead and do the MWS then. Sidearm. 
Oh. Little stubby. Something the matter? But I like my pistol. Wait, what? Thanks. Uh, assault, pistol, saddlebag, ammo. Yeah, let's get that filled. Uh, full. Ooh, I could buy med kits now, huh? What else can I do for you? Good choice. Okay, sure. Come back whenever you need something. All right, got a better gun. What can I get for you? Hey, Zanny. Stuff's getting scarce. <sighs> Bike's looking busted up. <laughs> See ya. Wait a sec, I got it. I have enough money to also go finish my bike upgrade. Drop off that rock, my kid. Oh yeah, she was thrilled. We made her day. Not bad. Who's around? Yeah, I wonder what we're... Deke, this is Copeland. How's it going? I've got a job for you. Go oh, hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll see if I can, uh, make time. Keep it up. Damn, Copeland finally has a job for me. That is a shocker right there. Felt like I've had more jobs from Tucker than anyone. So upgrade my bike. Do I want to go to Copeland's camp first? I'm only gonna have time for one. We'll go to Copeland's first. Take it slow.
if it ain't my best customer. Hey, you man. Look me up if you need anything else. Wait, do I have different credits per camp? <laughs> Damn it. I do, don't I? Yeah, because I had like 4k in the other camp. Oh, man. Yeah, I've been selling all my shit up there, haven't I? Okay, man. Later, man. Half hey, Deke, how's it going? Packed up and really hey, Damon. But I guess we sort of went from the frying pan into the Deacon St. John. How you doing, buddy? Jazzy, how's the ear? Deke. Good. Got something you might be interested in. Yeah, don't bet on it, Cope. I'm busy. Too busy to hear about a ripper camp? Here? In the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here? <sighs> Where? Thought you might be interested. I heard how you and Boozer got hit by him. In fact, I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? Where, Cope? Up by Separation Meadow. Flack, you know her, don't you? Saw him firsthand. Past their camp when she was out on the supply run. Don't worry. <sighs> I'll take care of them. Oh. Alrighty then. Bullshit. I did not know that each encampment had different. I think fast travel in this game. I didn't even notice that. Oh, look at that. But yeah, I didn't realize each encampment had different money values. That they're not shared. That's actually kind of cool that they aren't, though. Because that means you're, you really need to be strategic on where you throw all your your animal corpses and bounties and shit. You can't just be throwing them all in one spot and expect money to flow in. Kind of like that. Oh, well, don't get me wrong. It's definitely very inconvenient at the moment. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm alright, I'm alright. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. I didn't even know you could fast travel in this game. Although I can't really say it's needed. It's just convenient this time around. Because then I could fit this quest in at, at the end of the video. Here, come here. I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> Alright, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula Angustifolia. Lavender? 
Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. Yeah, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have the subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that that is so, oh my god, thank you, Einstein, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm it's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make, like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. At least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Hey, there's more over here! Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great! Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean to stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? Well, it's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your... Some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You'd like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by ten. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? <sighs> okay, you try picking some now. Lavender? You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. Hmm. I think I saw this lavender. One? Yep, keep going. When we were adventuring, I kind of collected. Last one. Great, bring him here. <sighs> oh. <Good for> you. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. No, if he's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over.
Please, my brother. So we have to go get some lavender for Boozer. Wait, you can fast travel to all these places. Oh, man. So, on our next video, we'll probably do that first. Wrap around, do the rift apart, drop the lavender, and back there. I think that's what we're going to do. But other than that, yeah, we've done pretty good. I think we've uncovered all the land for this, except for maybe that. Uh, yeah. So we need to do the same thing for the forested area. Because I know we're probably missing actually quite a bit in this area. But that won't be until our next video, unfortunately. That is what I will have planned. Other than that, we've done a pretty good job, guys. But like I said, last video of today. And uh, for those watching me on Twitch, thank you very much. But I will see you guys in the next video. So I'll see you guys later.